President Trump's appearance tomorrow at a drug abuse summit here in Atlanta highlights the area's struggle with opioids, the opioid crisis. Victims of the crisis include children. Jerry Carnes is connecting dots between opioids and the foster care system. There are nearly a half a million children in our nation's foster care system. A seven-year increase in the number of children entering foster care has put a strain on the country's child welfare system. Here's the connection between foster care and our nation's opioid crisis. For more than a decade, the nation's foster care caseload declined. That all changed in 2012. Between that year and 2016, the number of children in foster care increased 10%. In Georgia, the number of children in foster care has doubled since 2012. While neglect is the most common reason for removing Removing a child from a home, more and more often, drug use is one of the factors. Of all the removals in Georgia in 2014, 29% were related to drug use in the home. By 2018, drug use was a factor in 44% of all child removals. While a variety of drugs are to blame, representatives of Georgia's Division of Family and Children's Services highlight the opioid crisis with putting added stress on the foster care system. Congress has passed funding for substance abuse prevention in homes where children are at risk of going into foster care.